Hello and welcome to Teachings and Education, and here we'll look at some strategies for teaching special education students. First off, teachers can pre-teach vocabulary to better help prepare students for upcoming content. Special needs students are often grade levels behind. Next, provide repetition and practice. In younger grades especially, establish class routines. This is important for children on the autism spectrum, but useful for all special needs children. One of the biggest mistakes teachers make with special needs students is setting impossible goals. You don't want to set low goals either. Consider the danger of low expectations. In an effort to further understand, provide visual aid. This can be in the form of pie charts, bar graphs, or other types of models. Take the time to find out the interest of your special needs students and then incorporate their interest into your lesson. Use a checklist for class activities, homework, and lessons. Teachers can even use a checklist while teaching problems in a step-by-step -step fashion. A decent percentage of special needs students have behavioral issues. One of the best ways to deal with their behavior is to create a behavior intervention plan, a BIP. Instructional scaffolding might be the most important teaching method for special needs children. It's about providing support up until the moment students can complete their work on their own. Forming relationships with students is arguably the most important factor in student success. It's a special thing when a strong bond forms between teacher and student. Provide graphic organizers. They will help these students better connect concepts to each other as well as help students see the larger picture. Because these students can fall behind very quickly, teachers should integrate formative assessment into their instruction on a daily basis. Special education students don't learn the same way as their non-disabled peers. Therefore, they should not be taught the same way. Teachers should create alternate assignments, alternate assessments, are an essential form of differentiated instruction, which is needed for inclusion in classrooms. When designing worksheets and assessments, improving the spatial organization can only help special needs children. The question should be allowed to quote, breathe. Outlining is a great strategy to organize information. Begin with main ideas and supporting ideas and follow it up with details. Limit the number of concepts covered in a single lesson. Moving too fast is one of the biggest mistakes teachers make with special education students. And lastly, provide students with exemplary products. These children need to actually see what a finished assignment should look like. Right now, I want to say thank you for your time. Please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share this video and check the description for links to resources as well.